ThePokeCapital.com is the official sponsor of the MLPB. Hello friends, how's it going? And welcome to week eight of the MLPB. We're finally in the last week here. It's kind of sad because I don't want to see it go, you know, but it does have to happen eventually. And what a way to set it off than with a mixture of black and white packs. We've got Dragons Exalted, Boundaries Crossed, and Plasma Blast. So I'm super excited to get into these. And we've got three different competitive picks this week because we've got three different uh, sets. So here we go with our competitive picks. We've got Palpatode for Dragons Exalted. We've got Charmeleon, of course, for Boundaries Crossed, and wow, we're having a hard time focusing here. And then we've got a Fracture for Plasma Blast, so I don't know if I'll be able to stick them all in the background, but I will try my best here. Let's see, we've got Landris covered by Charmeleon, and then Charizard covered by Pelpitoad. There we go. I think that looks kind of fun. All right, so without too much more talking, I'm going to just take it in this order. Uh, I don't know how else everybody else is opening them, but this is how I'm going to do it, uh, just because, and this pack opened very strangely. I love seeing the pictures on the back of the code cards. It's really sad that they don't do that anymore. But in any case, let's get into this Dragon's Exalted pack. We've got a Mancino, a Fungus, Sveal, Drifloon, Stunky, a uh, Ben Blehebdeb, Lend Energy, Laron, almost chose Laron, oh well. Then we got a Roselia, a Braviary Reverse Rare, that's awesome. And then a rare is a Roserade non hollow, which is too bad. Next up, we've got our Boundaries Cross Pack here with a Mega, or not a Mega, goodness gracious, a White Kyurem on the front. Uh, I really love White Kyurem. It's it's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time uh, right now. I've got the Poke Doll and everything. It's, uh, it's a really cool design and everything. I really love it. So again, with the nice code cards. Love, love, love all the things about this opening. So we've got a Duskull, a Tangela, a Trapinch, Woobat, Patrat, Delcaddy, Tapig, Servine, a reverse Vullaby, and then our rare is an Unpheasant non hollow And I'm gonna check that pack for a second there. I think we got one fewer um, uncommon than usual. Yeah, so we were we were cheated out of a chance of a Charmeleon there. We've got we got a Tepig common in, in the center there, as you can tell, instead of uh, instead of an uncommon. Usually it's five commons, three uncommons, and then a reverse and then a rare, so how, how, that's weird. I don't know what's up with that, but whatever, that is okay. It happens sometimes with the weirdness. I know, it's it's not Jeff's fault, even though we are battling him and I'm supposed to smack talk him. That is not his fault. These are, these are just from, um, what are those called? The XY starter uh, figure pack things. So, it's, uh, they're not even loose packs from something. But so, we got Plasma Blast here. I haven't opened very much of Plasma Blast at all. I think it's the, the set that I have the least amount of extras from. But so, we got a Shelmet, a Golet, Machop, Throw, Wah! We also have a Kangaskhan, a Chatot, a Machoke, Tropius, a reverse Professor Juniper, which is pretty cool, and then our rare is a Porygon Z Hollow. All right, so we ended on a high note there. So this opening was a lot of fun, even though we didn't get a lot of points. I love seeing these black and white cards again. They're just they're unique in a way, and it's always fun to battle against the Poke Capital, of course. So we got one point with this Braviary Reverse Rare, and then two points with this Porygon Z Hollow for a total of three points, which isn't awesome, but oh well. Hopefully Jeff got some better pulls so that you guys can see some cooler black and white cards. So I'll give you guys this Giant's Exalted code, I believe. Yes, there we go. Uh, and let us know what you got so that we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching this final battle of the MLPB, guys. Don't forget to check out Jeff's video. I'm sure uh, most of you are just coming from his video because I certainly can't send any viewers his way. And uh, I'll catch you all on the flip side.